Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Foreman here playing as the Shimazu. So we are doing really well. Uh, we should be able to, well, maybe not unite Japan this episode like I said last episode, but we can get pretty close. Probably. Maybe. Kind of. We'll see. We'll leave it at that. Um, we have loans. Okay, we have loans. Fair enough. Um, does that mean we cannot influence a nation if we have loans? No, we can. Okay, cool. So, uh, we managed to take Okinawa. We managed to take Hokkaido. We need this one province or no one to own it in the curls. And, uh, the Ming are struggling and it is glorious to see. They are not doing so great. They have lots of mercenaries. They still have rebels galore. Their mandate growth has been severely weakened because they are now boarding several non-tributary nations that they are currently unable to attack. So it's a shame that we can't actually border the Ming because we'd cause them to collapse right now. So that's a lost opportunity, but... Uh, on the other hand, we can get enough influence on our daimyo here, hopefully, to start annexing them. If we can annex these guys, then we can form Japan, and then we can start looking outwards rather than inwards, even though we are going isolationist. So, suffice to say... Um, we can stop looking inwards as intently. And it is going to take quite a while unless we do this. Yes, we will do that. Unfortunately, we cannot hire somebody for that. Darn. We use seven a month. We're going to have one. It's going to take seven years. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's a shame I don't think we can get down to this trustworthy ally position anytime soon. If we could, we'd be in great shape, but I don't think we can speed it up even more. But suffice to say, probably what we're going to do, annex these guys, we're also going to work on getting closer to getting the... getting colonialism. However, we are going to not spend our admin points, if possible, because admin is still our weakest stat. Although, to be fair, we're falling behind in all tech. It would be worse if we didn't. I want to at least get another idea group going. Because then we can do probably expansion ideas followed by admin ideas. That way we can colonize something. And since right now, expansion ideas gets us two colonists, whereas exploration only gets us one, we're going to go expansion. Because we can colonize Taiwan, and that might rarely make China start to collapse. On the other hand, China has lost all their uh, really abroad um, tributary states. There's a couple on their borders that are still tributary states, but... Min separatists, Yi separatists. It'd be cool if we saw a lot of a full Ming, splo Ming explosion, as the phrase is. I would be a fan of watching the Ming absolutely collapse without me doing a thing except marching in to take over. Make my life a lot easier, let's put it that way. Drilling, drilling, drilling. I'm going to have to remember to draft ships for war for the heavies. So much cheaper doing that than uh, anything else. The, okay, I've given all the trading locations to the merchants, so we should be uh, getting a lot from trade. Getting quite a bit from trade. I would have hoped we got a bit more, but between us and our ally, we're picking up the vast majority. Plus, there's Korea, and Korea really does eat up a lot of stuff. Um, Ming are 1,100 in debt. 
That's nice. Shame I can't still can't attack Korea without them defending. Oh well. 18% done. Progress is being made. Not only progress is being made there, progress is being made on this front too. I'm going to say 42 again, sort of like uh, Shimazu. Life, answer of life, the universe, and everything, right? 42, maybe? Question mark. Anyhow, um, I think I'm going to delay. No, I'm not. We're going to be sensible. We'll let these guys follow their own religion for a while. There's no particular rush to convert them. We'll convert them whenever we have enough admin power to break the state. In the meantime, however, we will get a nice zoom in here on Mount Fuji, which is... I think that's Mount Fuji. Kind of weirdly embedded into the side of all the other mountains. But there's Kyoto, in case anyone's wondering. And for those who are uneducated in this, yes, the marketplace and the temple do actually appear on the map. Um, when you get stuff like that. Because you'll see the forts appear on the map as well. Kind of cool, huh? It's no polar bear, but... Uh, it's a nice touch. And... There we go. Renaissance thought. Awesome. We will do... Expansion... And then we will continue investing in Kyoto. 40 development. I didn't see how much it was per month. I imagine a fair amount. We are going to be, what is it, doubled? Uh, we are going to be right below France in terms of development when, when we actually annex the Usagi. Speaking of the Usagi, um, we could conscript a general, level one general. There's an achievement for conscripting a level three general. It's really easy. You play as Ashikaga, pretty much wait around until someone gets a level three general, and then conscript it. What, did you think it was rocket science? It's pretty simple. Other than that, now that we have officially caught up in Admin Tech to Diplo, we can now afford to spend any of the Monarch points on the center, which in this case is most of the way we need. It's going to make me go to 43, isn't it? It's either going to be 42 or 43. I'd love it. The irony if it was 42, but that might be too much to ask of the game. <laughs> um, we don't have money to repay loans. Okay, I don't know why that was lit up as we could have done something there. Uh, let's do Diplo Power. And life, the universe, and everything is the answer. Okay. Awesome. We're annexing. We're stable. We have money coming in, albeit slowly. Um, that should mean I should be able to make this a state and afford it all. Awesome. And we will do enforce religion here. That should make... Converting that, although expensive, actually efficient. Since we're not going to be fighting anyone navally for a bit, we will mothball there. Actually, oh, too late. I was going to say, actually, we should probably check if uh, invading Korea is a possibility. Uh, it's not. The Ming are still in debt, though. And darn, they have actually managed to stop all the rebels. Not particularly happy about that. 
not particularly happy at all. On the other hand, it can't be helped. On the other hand, we can take one additional colonists and one defensive idea, and we'll actually have our insane morale of army boost. And then on the other hand, we can also wonder how many on the other hands I actually have, because on the other hand would imply it's on a different hand. Yeah, let's not offend the guilds, if we can help it. Let's instead get some heavy ships. As if you thought taking Japan was hard already, try taking Japan when they have heavy ships. Doesn't go very well. To put it mildly, this is a very diverse island. I haven't really realized looking at this. So you've got a coastline province, which makes sense. You've got a grassland farm province. You've got a swamp. And then you've got hills. It's not the uh, rather basic terrain. In fact, all the terrain in Japan is uh, rather interesting. Lots of woods for an island. Lots and lots of wood. 42% done. Boy, we are just blazing right through annexing those guys. I always forget to do the uh, plus three um, uh, Senken Kotai here for the three diplomatic reputation. It's really strong. I've got to remember to do that next time I play as uh, the Ashikaga. Specifically, the reputation is also going to lower their uh, opinion, uh, raise their opinion of you, or reduce their liberty desire. Doesn't actually affect their opinion. Cool. Province converted. Did I just convert? I just converted Okinawa, didn't I? Yep. Okay. We'll wander away from there. Just pretend I accidentally did the, the right one up here. 600. 600. Let's mothball the army then, because that's going to be more money than we can raise easily. Oh, my heavy ships, duh. I was wondering why I had a random loose ship there. Turns out it's because I outsmart myself on a daily basis, it seems. There we go, colonists. Um... I think we're going to do native coexistence. I know the other method is faster. On the other hand, this does mean I don't have to spend as much time on a navy. I have yet to play... Actually, I should say that wrong. I have yet to play very many games that actually do naval warfare in a manner I can stomach. Probably one of the few games that I'm thinking about it now that actually does half decent naval warfare is the Civilization games. Or at least Civilization 4 and 5. I haven't really played it in 6. Because I can stand the one tile movement, but uh, all the other ones, it's really confusing to try and manage things. Let us unite Japan. We will not abandon our roots. And the reason is, and I am actually going to tab out on my screen just so I can do this properly to explain to people. So if I were to switch to Japan, let's just say, I would get 
instead of our current ideas, because I don't know why the game doesn't tell you what ideas you're going to get, I'd get negative 10 stability cost, 5 discipline. Great. Unification on the Emperor, negative 2 unrest. Pretty good. Uh, Reform National Holdings Modifier, 20. Negative 5 tech cost, negative 10 institution spread. Negative, t oh, sorry, not negative, positive, positive on both of those. Plus 10 durability, 1 yearly prestige, plus 20 global settler, negative 15 diplomatic, and 15% infantry combat ability. As you can see, it's really good, but it is actually a, it has no morale, and it has no manpower recovery speed. So I, I don't really think it's worth it, and that's, that, that, that's the strange thing to say. But we have the tech cost. We don't. We don't have trade steering in Japan. We get land fire damage, which is amazing for fire. Fire is much better than shock in the long run. Discipline's the same. Production efficiency we have, but they don't. Manpower recovery speed is great. The morale is great. The infantry combat ability is slightly less, but the army tradition decay makes up for it. And the tax modifier helps as well. So even though we don't have aggressive expansion impact, negative 15, or the settler, or the prestige, or the ship durability, or even the unrest, I think what we have is better. So we are going to stay as the Shimazu ideas. And I'm sorry if you don't like that, but I tried on the other way and I didn't really like the Japanese ideas. So we are now Emperor ranked, and we now have plus 25% morale. And we have a government reform that I can pass. I think what we are going to do is we are going to go... Uh, we are going to go autocracy, I think, because there's no particular reason for us to go feudal nobility because we don't really want vassals anyway. Plutocracy is not really useful for this. So autocracy it is. Awesome, huh? And everything else is your standard monarchy tree now. Because unfortunately, and it's very strange, Japan does not have a Japanese emperor government form. And it is really weird not having that. Um, okay, let's add the rest of Japan to our acceptable states. We might as well live in a country where we actually have the country as part of the country, or the land as part of the country, or whatever you want to call it. Just gonna... where is that? Map mode? Yeah. Okay, there we go. All Japan will be states. Obviously, we're gonna have to spend an awful amount of admin power making it sure it's stable. But, we are now... well, it hasn't adjusted yet. Okay. We are currently 7th. Once we correct it though, we will shoot up in rank to... well, we'll go up one rank, essentially. Eh, we'll go up one rank. Nothing too amazing. On the other hand, we now have unique mission stuff. I don't get entirely what this is supposed to get us, but... We've completed the mission Unite Japan with the following effects. Okay. However, we will take three mountains, which is also the name of the achievement, but it gives us claims on Korea, permanent ones. So that means we can invade Korea at any point later on when the Ming are really weak, which is very possible because for some reason Tibet owns a land in the middle of China now. They must be so far in debt they're selling land. One second. China's going bankrupt. Awesome. Um, but yeah, and I've completely lost my train of thought. So, just pretend I said something immensely intelligent and clever, and we're all set. Oh yes, missions. We get Korea. Uh, we don't. We do or do not want to do that. Kamikawa is Shinto. Oh, Shinto. Show them the way. 
permanent claim on those areas. Colonize the Kirolds, okay. Oh, we have to watch to take that province. Interesting. Then we get to claim on Taiwan, then we colonize Taiwan. Okay, so now with the mission tree, I can kind of kind of jump around. Okay. Uh, trade efficiency. Tiki now might not be the best time, but I'm going to take it now anyway, because it will get us some more money, which we desperately need. And... Uh, then apparently spent a lot of time coring land. On the other end, we don't have to deal with any daimyos anymore, and it is 1518, and we have United Japan. What are we missing? Oh, this just has to finish being court. Uh, if I cancel that, I'd get it. Well, it has to finish settling, and then we'll get it. Uh, we still have to go isolationist five more times, and we still have to Convert to Christianity. Other than that, though, we're doing pretty good. We still have all this to do. And by the way, it's really, I know some people are annoyed I keep showing it, but just to show you guys where I'm at um, with the achievements, I, it's not like I can stop showing it either. Um, mothball and merge together. We should have 40 force limit, 38 ships. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Colonialism spreads reasonably fast through territories. If we can get it to here, so I will do that, so it'll spread slightly faster. We should be able to then quickly jump it down into Satsuma and it will become significantly cheaper. I don't particularly right now feel the need to like take a loan or something to do it. We are going to start the Neo-Confucianism incident, but we are not going to go towards opening because that would convert us to Buddhism. We need to stay isolationist. I'm wondering how we're going to convert to Christianity while staying isolationist. Also, the Ming just rivaled me. Counter rivaling. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we now merely have to conquer Korea, really. Awesome. And our tributary state is, in fact, growing. I think we're going to have to break tributary status on them. Yeah, we're going to have to break tributary status on these guys. So I'm going to quickly do that now. It was a cool idea while it lasted. Break that. We're going to get a permanent claim on them a couple of years, and then we'll go after them. But anyway, that will be it for this episode. So thank you guys all for watching, and see you all next time as we actually, as... Japan expands. Bye for now.